Hello and welcome. Today I want to discuss the sunset blush trend. I have a bunch of products here that I want to go through and see if they actually match the vibe. Which one passes the test, which one doesn't. If you're interested in learning more about this blush trend, sit tight and we'll get into it. The first product obviously that fits this bill is the Juicy Cheeks Palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is Sunset Blush in a palette. Some can be used on lighter skin tones. There are juicier, punchier shades as well. If you like this trend, this is a must-have. These are matte blushes though, so I have some other recommendations for glowy blushes. We'll get into that in a sec. First of all, I want to create a custom blush look with this. So let's zoom in. Now that we're all nice and zoomed in, I want to use this brush, this is the Refer 18. This is like a small tapered brush, which will help us control the amount of pigment because one of the cons cited for this palette is that it's very pigmented. I'm going to first start with the orange shade here. This is my first time doing this, just putting a disclaimer out there. Let's go into this pink. And now this purple. Can you tell I don't entirely know what I'm doing? Maybe. I don't mind it. Let's put just a little bit more on. Again, dabbing the orange here. Ooh. The pink seems to have disappeared in there somewhere. There we go. Now I can individually see the pink. Okay, that's a nice gradient. Turned out better than I expected for a first time application. That shows that this is a good palette. Let's blend everything together a little bit. Nice. Now let's move on to some other contenders for glowy blush. I want to show you a few options based on the recommendations of this one video that I watched from a creator. I don't remember who it was, but they were saying that the House Labs Fire Opal Highlighter that looks like this is a very nice sunset blush which i agree with it may not work as a blush for deeper skin tones but it's definitely a highlighter and it's definitely sunset colored so i've decided to make this the yardstick for other blush recommendations as well so let's put this on first we shall see how we do with my skin tone Definitely very nice. If I apply a little bit more of it, it will definitely be a sunset vibe. I think this is pretty gorgeous. Let's swatch this and compare some other options. So this is the swatch. Really pretty. I have something similar. This is the Moira Sun Glow Face and Body Highlighter. Now. I swatched this and it looks pretty similar to the House Labs one. Let's swatch them side by side. One thing about this one though, this is smoother. It has a lot more sparkle and it smells like coconuts. Look at this. Maybe the base pigment isn't showing that much, but what I want to do is I want to apply it next to this and see if they look anywhere near similar on the skin. This is Bam In Your Face kind of pigment. Very gold. 
more of a highlighter than a blush, I would say. But still pretty similar color-wise. The placement was throwing me off, so I'm going to do just a little bit here again. Just to see how it would look placed normally as a blush. Yes, very sparkly, very gold. I think it will enhance the texture a little bit. But I like it. I think this could work as a sunset glowy kind of thing if you're not afraid of the sparkle. Another excellent option is NARS Taj Mahal blush. Now this is an orange shimmer blush with similar kind of but muted gold reflect as the House Labs and the Moira highlighters. So let's see if this works. This is meant to be a blush, it's not a highlighter. So that's a pro right there. That is gorgeous. It has a little bit more base pigment, but it has like a satin sheen of gold. So that hits the mark for blush actually. And I prefer this over the other two. So that's cool. Very nice. You might already have this in your collection. So many people liked it. And it used to be a popular one. This is what Taj Mahal looks swatched right next to the other two. You can't really see the gold reflect. It's more orange than any of the other two, but you can definitely see it on the cheek. So I'm glad I did that application. Next up, we have the ColourPop Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. This is in Wildflower Honey. I got this a little while back. It was on sale. Very good deal. This has a base pigment of like a rose shade, more of a pink than an orange, but the gold reflect on it is really nice. It's a bit sparkly because it's a body highlighter, similar to the Moira one, but you can always wear it on the cheek, even you're not afraid of a little sparkle, which I'm not. So let's swatch it next to the others. This is a little bit pinkier, but still in the same category, I'd say. Kind of similar to the house labs, but sparklier. Let's pop it on. I'm using a fluffy blending brush for the eyes for this application. I want it a little bit controlled. Building nicely. Let's slather some more on, see if that color builds up a little bit. Okay, so this will enhance texture a little bit or give the appearance of texture given the little particles of sparkle. But it does have that base pigment. It's a little bit more pinky, but overall effect is similar and the gold sheen. Personally, I think I would prefer others over this one because of the appearance of texture. It's quite a bit. Not sure if you can see it in the camera, but it's there. Okay, now I have a cream blush contender. This is by Iconic London. The shade is Hot Stuff. I got this a while back, but when I got it, I never used it. So it's kind of new and this is going to be first impressions as well. It also has that kind of sunsetty vibe. I can tell that it has that pinky orange base. It will have that gold sheen as well. So I'm curious. Let's dive in. Ooh, there is, there is a heck of a lot that came off, but we're not afraid of that, are we? Ooh, it's giving a NARS orgasm vibes. Very pretty. This is NARS orgasm, but Maybe just a tad deeper. 
and maybe less shiny. The finish is still satin. This is perfect for those who want to follow this trend but do not want going overboard. This is very nice. You can apply as much as you want and it still won't go crazy. And this is good for lighter skin tones, I believe. Excellent. Gorgeous finish if you see it from here. There's no choppy line like there is with others. It blended really nicely. This is great. Let's swatch it next to the other, see how this compares. This is a little bit more orange than the ColourPop one. A little bit more shimmery than the House Labs. Which doesn't really show on the skin. Because it's just so seamless. In terms of ease of application, this is my favorite formula out of all of these. Now I have some different kind of recommendations. The first one is from Fenty. This is the Mimosa Sunrise Sangria Sunset Duo. These are, of course, the old highlighters. They have new ones, which are skin tone shades. They're not colorful like these ones. And they're still keeping these colorful ones in the line. But look at this duo. Does it not scream sunset to you? Once we mix both of these on the cheeks, I think it'll look really pretty. One is, again, that orange with the golden flip. And the other is like a fuchsia pink base with small purple shimmer in it. Very nice. I'm interested to see how this one turns out. First, I think I'm going to swatch the orange side with all the other swatches that we have and see how this compares. Right off the bat, this is very yellowy gold. So the base is quite yellowy orange and then there is that gold sheen on top. Very nice. A whole different kind of sunset. The purple won't go with these, but we'll add it as an accent on top. I have these from a while back, but these days, if you live in Canada, you can find them discounted deeply at Winners, which is a TJX retailer. So that's that. Very nice, very yellow orange. A little different from the ones we've tried so far, but still cute. Now the challenge would be to kind of blend these together because they're so different. Let's build gently. Let's intensify that purple even more. I think it looked better before, but I get tempted to overdo things. Do you not know me? You should know this. But even with intensifying the color just a little bit, I think this still makes a gorgeous sunset blush. Would you not agree? Interesting, right? Right? I think so. Lastly, we have some non-serious contenders. For a couple of reasons, I don't really like these two, but they're kind of in the similar zone, so I thought I would share. This is the Fenty Matchsticks in Trippin. This comes in a trio set. I'm not sure if it's still on the market or not, but... Let's swatch this next to all the others. Actually, surprisingly, it fits in with all the others. It has like a very light orange base and the gold reflect. I don't love this because it's not very creamy. It's kind of hard to apply this directly or I think with a brush even. I don't think I've used this all that much because of this. Okay, let's pop this on. Let's try first with a brush.
there is some product on the brush but it won't stick to my skin let's just go directly in swiped quite a bit on out of the trio this is actually supposed to be the blush there was a highlighter and a bronzer in the set and this is apparently the blush look at that it took off the foundation underneath the pigment isn't evenly distributed either it won't come off from the brush if I apply it with a brush you know the reason now why I don't like this so this this was a non-serious contender but I'm glad we tried it anyway now for another non-serious contender this is the unearthly cosmetics incandescence highlighters these are liquid highlighters and the color look at the color of this is this not sunset to you this goes from peach to orange to peachy pink. While I like the idea, I don't love the execution. It feels just like a lip gloss in a tube. And maybe that is what it is, but who knows. I remember from when I got these, I tried these on. It just stays sticky on top of your skin. not going on well the color kind of disappeared I can see it lifting the foundation underneath as well Look at this, everything that's underneath is coming off. It's like it's made of this. The little oily formula, the way it comes off. This is an eye makeup remover, by the way. Look at this. Do you see the lines where I tapped it on? There is no good way to apply these. I like Unearthly Cosmetics, but this was a bust. I'm not sure if they've reformulated it since because these are a little older, maybe a year or so. And if they haven't, maybe they should look into it because one of these highlighters was included in their purple mystery box that just launched. And one of the reasons I didn't feel attracted to this was because of that highlighter. If it had been a powder formula, sure. But not these. That's why this wasn't a serious contender. Plus, it's not very sunsetty either now that I have it on the face. I will show you. See, I wiped it off, and unlike all the other blushes that I've tried on, it kind of took away everything underneath. Lastly, I wanted to show why I didn't include these, the new blushes from Fenty, in this collection. This is because these do not give the sunset vibes by themselves. If you combine them with other colors, sure, but not by themselves. They're just pinky reddish blushes. I may have to eat my words now that I look at them. Let's swatch them next to all the rest that we've been swatching. This is the one called Baked Peach, which I often read as Backed Peach. Backed Up Peach. See, this is very different from all the rest of these. I don't think it qualifies as a sunset blush, but I'm just gonna pop it on and see. Well, this is a gorgeous satin blush. 
I don't think it quite qualifies as sunset blush. If it had just a little bit more gold on top, maybe it would. It is very pretty, just doesn't fit the trend. But I knew that some people might be wondering, so I thought I would include them anyway. Because this is a newer product. The other one we have is Juicy Peach. If anything out of the three in this collection, it should be this for a sunset blush. I'm going to take the other side of the brush and tap this on. Very nice satiny pinky blush. There isn't a lot of gold shift or the base isn't orangey enough to make this a sunset blush, but very nice nonetheless. Also, if you were wondering, there isn't a lot of difference between these two. You can tell. So I'd say don't go buying all three of these. The third one in this range was Fresh Peach, I believe it's called, and it's kind of like a NARS orgasm shade. So if you have the NARS orgasm, you don't really need the Fenty Fresh Peach. When I was thinking about new products, I wanted to see if there was one from the Rare Beauty blush line that could potentially fit this trend. I have with me Joy. This is described as a muted peach and it has a gold flip. So I want to compare this to all the others that we've already swatched here. These are the two Fenty ones. This is Joy. This is more orange, has a gold sheen. I think this might just fit the description, but I think we should apply it first and then decide. I think the swatch may not tell the whole story unless we actually do the application. So let's go. I think this is similar to this one, the Fenty ones that I've applied. In the swatches, it seems just a tad more orange, but then the description says muted, and I would agree with that. This is more muted. If it had more of that golden sheen, I would call it a sunset blush, but these are pretty close to the others we've been swatching. I think these Three could also make for a sunset blush, if you will, given you're more into a subtle kind of blush, not the most in your face orange and gold, but these are all the options. I actually found a few more, so if you want to see what those are, you can subscribe to my channel. I will post them as a YouTube short, also Instagram and TikTok. So. It's worth checking out if you made it so far in the video, right? Let's zoom out and sum up. I don't necessarily follow trends, but some are so much fun like this one. I got to sit down and play with my blushes. Blush has been a hot product for a little while now. And this was pretty enjoyable for me. And I hope you got some good recommendations out of the ones I tried. If you're interested in fun content, that doesn't push you to buy products, subscribe to my channel. I am also on Instagram and TikTok, so follow me there as well, and I will see you in my next video.